today we are going to talk about the auditing feature in Microsoft Dynamics 365. Uh, auditing feature allows us to see the value or analyze the data which has been changed. Suppose in a uh, contact person, if we are changing the uh, name of the person or the price or any details, then uh, uh, to, in order to check the previous data and the new data, we use auditing feature. So uh, I'll show you the example. Let's see uh, the contact. Let's open the contact Alex Baker and uh, suppose let's change the name to Alex Baker A and Baker B. Okay. And the number to simply random number and we are saving. So here we can see the only the updated value. Okay. Uh, in order to check the earlier value, what we'll do is we have to enable the auditing. For that, let's go to advanced setting. In that one setting under the system tab, we have this auditing feature here. Click it and see we have four options here. One is global audit setting. You know, in order to see the, uh, in order to start, sorry, in order to see the details of auditing, first we have to enable global audit setting. And then this one, this one allows us to uh, see the uh, audit details of particular entity like contact details uh, or activities. This one will help us to see the changes, what changes have been done. And this one allows us to delete or remove the audit details. So first of all, let's enable it for all the entities. Okay, start auditing. And these all are the optional. If we want to do it for sales or other marketing, these all are optional. We'll focus only on first thing. Okay, this one is done. The second step is we'll do it for the contact entity whenever uh, we are changing the value of contact it should show us the older value as well as newer value okay so let's go to contact contact whenever we create any field uh, there itself uh, will get a checkbox to enable auditing or not even if you click there we have to uh, first enable it globally then only we'll be able to see the details so in this entity here we can see the auditing option just click it save it okay once it is saved we'll go and change the value of any person contact person and then we'll see if it's reflecting the value here or not okay it will take some time to update Uh, this auditing mainly helps business whenever a lot of changes are a lot of details are getting changed so manager can keep track of uh, all the details what are the new value old value and who is changing all the details can be seen in the auditing okay so this is done let's close it and let's come here now suppose if we change Alex Baker okay Okay, Alex, since Alex Baker, okay, no, not Alex. Let's change some other value, Carla. Okay, Carla, Apple, it's banana. Okay, okay fine. And uh, the number, one, two, three. Okay, fine. We are saving it, okay? Now, once we have saved, let's come here and uh, same in the auditing. We are coming in the audit summary view come here okay and here you can see the uh, this field has been changed these, these are already I have changed and checked so the currently I have changed this Carla apples okay so if you open this just double click and you'll be able to see the business phone first name first earlier it was Carla now and then it was changed to Carla apple banana and these things so here we can change all the value that's all so uh, whatever changes you do, you will be able to see. Now let's see the another feature of the same. 
uh, here we, and this audit log management okay in this uh, like if you want to delete all the audit logs after quarter month or half month one year here you you can select it and you can delete the logs okay now in certain case uh, if some uh, if someone is not able to see uh, the audit logs okay if they are not able to see these details then what you have to do is you have to give the security privileges the security roles to the person so how we can do that is just come to the security roles first security okay and security roles here my name is power okay okay let it be anything just open any role okay <clears throat> and if you go, you need to go to the core records and here we can see uh, view audit history you just have to give the organization access okay here and view audit summary okay delete audit history if you give it then he'll be able to see change or delete the audit records that's all okay uh, that's all I'll come with another video thank you so much